Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, the reality guys and producers must insist that none of these opinions be taken as facts. Now, please enjoy the show. Welcome back to the reality guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. Hello. As you can see here in the title, we are here to talk the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, the Ex-Wives Club. We are going to do episodes two and three here. Uh, we will usually do one episode per episode. However, with them dropping and having all three at the beginning or us at least seeing three off the bat, we did one for the premiere. We're going to do one for these two. And when it gets back to weekly, you'll get a weekly review. But these two kind of blended together. Good events. So we're just doing all together. I'm still enjoying the hell out of this because these women it's just a perfect mix. There's so much history between some of them and some that have no history. So they kind of judge people at their cover at like, for like taking their book, like at its cover, but at the same time, knowing like, I only got to be with you for a week. So I don't care if you're kind of crazy. And it just, it's an awesome, awesome cocktail. Also having one person, Vicky, who doesn't want to be there at all. Perfect mix. Why is she there then? You know what I mean? Here we go. Oh, yeah. I mean, if she didn't come, she was going to get paid. But, I mean, come on now. But she I mean, just, pretend a little she better literally got dumped two days before they started filming and i mean she's obviously also sick um Dude, she also said she hadn't had sex in 13 months like i'm just like I'm with sorry. her yeah with yeah. the guy like, how, living like, in, what's going on? in her guest house yeah and she called and like calling it her his dick a wee wee is serious red flag i'm glad everybody else on their confessionals are like yeah i'm glad wee wee came up quick <laughs> yeah like whoa <laughs> Brandy is the target throughout the episodes two and three, uh, mainly having to do with two factors, which is pretty common with Brandy. The first one being that it's only when she's drunk. Brandy's usually mm. drunk, though. I'm not even like shading. It's just, I mean, she's always whacked. Once she starts, she's, she goes. She even uh, got some legal marijuana with Eva. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was good, right? Yeah. So that they, you know, there, and Eva ended up winning field day, even though she was partaking. So good for her she, yeah, good. she was well balanced on this episode you got to go from legal marijuana to a uh vax versus anti-vax debate with <laughs> with vicky and dorinda dorinda and you're starting to get to see dorinda this is vintage dorinda where she's good good and just loses it and then just yeah. loses it and goes off and it's usually because something's personal or means a lot to her and it's it's the berkshire yeah yeah i mean it's also her house. <laughs> the Berkshires. Bro. The Berkshires. Yeah. Um, Dorinda being a schedule Nazi was also pretty funny. The itineraries are outrageous. I actually like that they like the way they do the editing. Oh, so real, real quick, you see the editing, what I was referring to the the United Nations yeah. flags. Yeah. This is I'm not sure I don't enjoy these people. I think this is the best edited show. That the we've rules watched. of the matter getting broken yeah. at all times, like the yeah. shoe rules and the no right. eating in bed rule, all the things just getting broken and them getting crossed off. Um, Dorinda okay. literally blaming. Um, who does she blame for Vicky being? Oh, she blames Jill because Jill's saying, just let her be out. She's sick. So she blamed uh, Jill for Vicky being sick, for enabling her. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean,. You can't make it up with these people. Also, I like I said, talked about Brandy, but I will mention, like I said in our last review when we did Buckhead Shore, there's going to be a Reality Guys quotes of the day on our TikTok. Two will go from Brandy for episodes two and three combined. Uh, the first one being, how could you tell that she was a lesbian referring to the wife and chef that she misaccusing of being a lesbian? She said her eyebrows all timeline and, and like she was dead serious too all time deadpan line and then when she pissed off taylor because she can't stop telling people to shut the f up because she just is drunk and just what she says <laughs> um taylor starts screaming losing her crap which she can do and all that she said brandy said is all i saw was the cat meme because yeah, so Bill, i didn't know when i was watching this i had no idea i knew the cat meme was from somewhere reality i did not know it's from house it's from taylor so yep i learned that something is, i learned something today that is an all-time meme literally like yeah. an all-time meme and that is literally the woman who did it because she did the same thing she got in a huge fight at a dinner table and was just screaming and just put a cat, cat in the other chair so. oh so the cat wasn't there it's just added i don't remember if the cat was honestly there or not the cat seems really out of place if the cat was there but i really don't remember yeah if, anyone, yeah, if anyone has ever not been on knowyourmeme.com, 
go there. You'll learn all the history on me. I'm going to go right there and find out about yeah. like, is the cat was it there. I don't I forget. Know. Emily, if Emily was in the room right now, she could tell me, but it that's was not so comments. long ago. I've seen it. That's not the comments. I remember how long ago it was, 10 years ago. That's when I see right. it. Right. Um, yeah. So those were my two quotes there. Uh, Dorinda and the lasagna off was a little bit of a sham, in my opinion, because she had definitely had her staff doing it for her. And she stole Brandy's tomatoes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that was Bush League. Bush League. The, Bush Dorinda, League. like, she's got to chill. You got to stop telling people, like, what they got to do at every moment. And mm-hmm. you have to, like, stop, like, she is wishy-washy. That, that was one thing I did agree with Tamara on when she pulled her to the side. She's like, you hated Brandy when Brandy wasn't there. And as soon as Brandy was there and started fighting with us, you loved her and told her you loved her publicly. So, like, I don't even really care which one it is, but can you just pick one? And I kind of agreed with that point, actually. That's kind of what I'm watching these shows, like, because you see, I don't know anything about yeah. these people. They almost seem like they go into a situation and they're just randomly given sides and they have to, like, it's like they're rolling the dice. Right. Yeah, right. Like, who am I aligned with today? And I was like, they'll say, like, some, and they, catch every comment like i don't really like what she said about that and they have to have a sit down then it blows up and that's how the show is popular i guess it is um you also i think believe it was phaedra talking about having the vagina crystal which i thought was really funny so yeah that i mean i know you like that if i have my personal like rules it's mediums i hate and crystals i hate magic and magicians lloyd Get out of here with that. Not a Spencer Pratt crystal fan. Nonsense. Like, like, oh, I rubbed some crystals on. You're not a Pratt daddy crystal fan. Get the hell out of here. What a scam that is. I agree. (laughs) Um, Props to the obstacle course being good and involved, though. Field day was cool. Again, props to Eva for winning. Um, Like I said, I love us. Moose loves Eva, too. Um, The Atlanta Housewives have definitely been my favorite so far. Me, too. 100%. Um, I definitely would recommend people who are, are Housewives fans or people who just want to hate watch something. It's a perfect show to hate watch. If you don't like reality TV and you want to hate watch, watch Housewives. You'll hate these people in five seconds if you hate reality TV. Yeah, I hate all of them except the Atlanta girls. Yeah, so far I think that's pretty justified. I mean, I don't and think it was the same as last season too. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's really going to be the case. I mean you're not going to like Vicky. You're just aren't going to like people like that. It's just. But Bill, I, what I did like about the season is I'm like seeing flashbacks and I'm like recognizing Ramona, I'm recognizing Luann and like, yep. and, and, and that made me feel good. It's like, oh, I'm starting to like kind of put a face. Piece to people like together. Know who situation. goes with who at least. Yeah. Like no. the heavy hitters, at least. The, those who have been phased out or, <laughs> or put on pause. Well, they can't, they can't put Ramona on pause, right? Like she's like a... a no, Ramona like, is never, no, like Ramona has never been put on like pause. Ramona cool. and Luann, Luann was it? Like Luann was all even put on pause when she got like arrested like a bunch of times. Like she's still somehow made every season. Like she just yeah, never like... Crazy. She's literally from like season one. She's been on whatever they're on now, 14, nuts, 15, man. whatever it is. Her and like you said, um, Ramona, um, yeah. Yeah. Ramona, right? yeah, Ramona. Yeah, you can't cancel. Can't Ramona. Ramona, season one, you can't cancel Ramona. She also has nothing else going on, so she's just good for TV. I miss so Ramona. Good. I need Ramona yeah. back. I can't wait for New York to come back. Um, but yeah, overall, we really like it. Check it out on Peacock. It's free. You just have to put your email address in and deal with some ads, but not horrible ads. Great editing, and I think you'll all enjoy it. So, um, for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace.